everyone, Nimcon here, back with our next NetHack run. Uh, so last time ended in disaster, unfortunately. It was terribly unfortunate, to be perfectly honest, because it was completely avoidable. And that's always when it's terribly unfortunate. Uh, but I was stubborn and obstinate and thought maybe we'd be able to defeat that big uh, thing. We, we did not. So uh, who are you for our new character? We are Rodney. Shall I pick the character's race, role, gender, and alignment for me? Uh, yes, please, actually. We are Rodney, a neutral female human tourist. Ooh, okay, well, I've never been a tourist before. But sure, why not? It is written in the Book of the Lady. After the creation, the cruel god Moloch rebelled against the authority of Marduk the Creator. Moloch stole from Marduk the most powerful of all the artifacts of the gods, the Amulet of Yendor, and he hid it in the dark cavities of Gehenim, the underworld, where he now lurks and bides his time. Your goddess, the Lady, seeks to possess the amulet, and with it, to gain deserved ascendance over the other gods. You, a newly trained rambler, <laughs> have been heralded from birth as the instrument of the Lady. You are destined to recover the amulet for your deity, or die in the attempt, which is... Let me tell you, much more likely. Your honor, uh, your hour of destiny has come. For the sake of us all, go bravely with the lady. All right. Aloha, Rodney. Welcome to NetHack. You are a neutral female human tourist. Okay, okay. So, oh, this is, this is interesting. Our stats are pretty average across the board. Uh, nothing lower than a 10, nothing higher than a 14, though that's uh, pretty decent, to be honest. Uh, neutral, of course. Don't play a lot of neutral characters. Uh, very interesting. We start with 985 gold. So I'm wondering what our inventory is. We've got a bunch of blessed plus two darts to throw, so that's good. Uh, we're wearing an uncursed plus zero Hawaiian shirt. A uh, bunch of food. Okay. Uh, a couple of scrolls of magic mapping. Cool. And then two potions of extra healing. I like it. We got an expensive camera and an uncursed credit card, uh, just as, you know, any tourist would have, right? So I guess our first order of business is, is it F? Yes, to fire in that direction. The dart misses the grid bug. Well, let's do it again. There we go. So we killed it. Hey, hey, I want my dart back. There we go. Thank you. So this is our cat, by the way, a tame kitten called Tiny Cat. Uh... It's cat or other feline. Uh, so let's head this way. I've never played a game as a tourist, so this will be a learning experience for all of us. Uh, excuse me, I yeah, I knew there was a corridor there somewhere. How about up here? That's the, okay, yeah, that's just a cross corridor. Uh, okay, this place is a little winding, but uh, gold. A short wand. Alright, well, let's uh, engrave with our fingertip. Uh, Rodney was here, and now we will, nope, engrave with our short wand. Oh, the engraving on the floor vanishes. Uh, we're not going to write anything in there. The short wand glows, then fades. Okay. Cool, cool. So... This wand, then, is one of, like, three things. Let's name a, the type of an object in the inventory, the short wand. Uh, it is either a wand of cancellation, or just cancel, a wand of uh, make invisible, or a wand of teleport, because the engraving we had on the floor vanished, so either the cancellation wiped it out, uh, or we made the writing invisible, or we just moved it somewhere around the level. Uh, name that, there we go. So it's one of those three options. Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And you just go over here, don't you? You do. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that makes sense, I get it. Uh, nothing? Nothing here? Oh, there we go. The door is locked. Well, that's fine. We can apply the uncursed credit card. In what direction? This direction. Yes, I would like to unlock it. Thank you very much. There's the stairs and eight crossbow bolts. Okay. I 
I feel like there's a door here. Just call it a hunch. There we go. Alright. And... Okay, so more money. Uh, dwarf corpse, uh-oh. That's not a good sign. I'm about to have a rock fall on me. Oh, look, a trap door in the ceiling opens and a rock falls on your head. I am at one hit point. The Dungeons of Doom is a dangerous place. I will pick up the green gem and never step here again. So that's a statue of a newt. Cool. Uh, let's hope we don't meet anybody like that newt. My god, I'm running away from a newt. Fire. This direction. No, I missed the newt. Alright. Ack. Fire. That direction. You kill it! There we go. And Tiny Cat ate my newt corpse. That's fine. I still lived. Ranged characters are very interesting. I did play a ranger one time. I don't think it's on this. It was on this uh, computer, so the record is probably nowhere to be found anymore. But the ranger was kind of fun. The ranger starts with a bunch of enchanted arrows. Hearing some noises. Kitty cat's fighting. Uh, Alright, well, we still have... Oh, hello. That's a, a lichen. Uh, let's fire these darts into the lichen. There we go. Dead. Ooh, a pair of hiking boots. Uh, come here, tiny cat. Oh, you like those hiking boots? Well, let's put them on. Uh, wear a pair of hiking boots. AC 10 to AC 9. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, okay, tripe rations. They're safe to step on. I'm like, I should double check and make sure this isn't another corpse. Because, you know, what happened the last time we stepped on a corpse. Okay, that makes sense. Whee! Okay. Oh, thank you. I'll just eat that. Uh, it tastes terrible. But I scarfed it down. So I'm alright with that. Okay, large room. A bow and darts. Uh, of course I'm hit by a little dart. Let's take all those. Alright, so we're probably just about to the end of this level. Let's apply our credit card and unlock the door. Ooh, there's more rooms? Interesting. Okay. Uh, door, maybe? Search, search. Oh, there it is. And gold. Alright. Let's hightail it back over here. Thank you. And down the stairs. We are at exactly 1,000 gold pieces. I like it. Okay. Six experience points. Not a lot yet. There's a lit room over here. So let's see. This is a long corridor. Oh, hello there, Newt. Bop. 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 Oh. Tiny cat killed the Newt. Two fortune cookies. Uh, you know what? Let's eat a fortune cookie, because that's always pretty fun. Uh, let's see you. The fortune cookie is delicious. The cookie has a scrap of paper inside. It reads, They say that a wand of cancellation is like a wand of polymorph. Uh, it's, it's, it's not like a wand of polymorph, guys. Uh, slight minor spoilers there, but it's not. Alright. Bye-bye, uh, Newt. Uh -huh. Oh, what was that? Hear some noises in the distance. So my cat was fighting probably the sewer rat. Okay. Alright. All's well that ends well, right, tiny cat? Okay, more gold. Good. I feel like there might be... No? No secret doors. Alright. Let's backtrack over to here then. Okay. Ooh, I see an amulet. I see a goblin. Yep. Uh, this will fire away. I mean, it misses. There we go. Alright, only one dart. I lost a dart there, so that means, yeah, I'm down to 27. Well, that, that happens sometimes. We'll eat this goblin corpse. It tastes terrible, but I scarf it down. Okay, the amulet is not cursed. Let's wear the square amulet real quick, just to see if it does something. Uh, we will we will take it off 
if we can't figure out what it does because the more rings and amulets that you have on the quicker you get hungry in this game it's kind of weird it's like the magical power is draining something from you or something I, I, don't, I don't really know the justification oh boy what is going on in here this is no th this is a newt a jackal a newt a jackal a goblin and a grid bug this should not be happening so okay there we go let's fire in this direction uh, nope nope I need out of here nope thank you uh, is there okay kill the grid bug good come on come on nope I'm not dying to a newt I'm not dying to a newt I refuse I say some more noises Wow, a lot of noises. Oh, thank you, tiny cat. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't want to be here. Uh, nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope, not being there. That is our order of the day. Okay, we kill the like and we're experience level 2. Whew. Let's grab that corpse. Hit the goblin. You kill the goblin. Okay. And fire these darts. Oh, we're not hitting. There we go. Okay, darts, poison dart, uh, leash, grab all those, let's eat the goblin corpse. Ooh, rotten food, you feel rather lightheaded. We finish, so I had to be very careful here, because, ah, of course, a little dart shoots out at me. I'm hit, but I feel less confused, so that's good. That's great, actually. A chest, cool. Okay, there's another one of my darts. Uh, seven other darts. And another dart. <laughs> Alright. I fall asleep? What do you mean I fall asleep? There must have been a, a magic trap there. Oh, no! Maybe not. Maybe the amulet I'm wearing is an amulet of sleeping. Tiny Cat picks up an iron skull cap. Notice we're at turn 878. Uh-huh. Okay. And we wake up turn 884. So let's remove the square amulet. Let's name the amulet. Uh, amulet of Sleep. Uh, a lot of amulets, even if they're not cursed, they're not actually great for you, so I think that was one of them. Now, about this chest, uh, we're going to check it for traps. Uh, none, none, and none. So loot it. It's locked, that's okay. We can apply our credit card. Uh huh, and we pick it. Let's loot it, take something out. Uh, two scrolls and an orange gem. Not bad. Then, Tiny Cat, you're... Yep, looking around that skull cap. Let's wear that. Wear an iron skull cap. So that was worth one point of AC. All right. And because we were able to unlock it, that chest is still usable as something to keep valuables in, which is great. Hello, Oak Wand. Let's engrave with our fingertip. Uh, we will write... Rodney was here. Now we shall engrave with the oak wand. A lit field surrounds you. Uh, do you want to add to the current engraving? Nah. You wipe out the message that was written in the dust here. You write in the dust with a wand of light. This is one of the couple of wands that automatically identifies itself when you use it. Because, I mean, it's kind of hard not to notice that lit field that surrounded us. Uh, we're just going to write uh, Elbereth. You know, just because. So now we know what the wand is. That might be useful down in the mines. Alright. You kill the sewer rat. Excellent. Oh, and a scrabble, uh, scroll labeled read me. That's uh, really hard to resist, honestly. I mean, who wouldn't want to read a scroll labeled read me? Oh. There's nothing through that door. Alright. Uh, oh, there's the stairs. You know what? Just for fun, let's read the scroll labeled Read Me. Uh, oh, it's an Identify scroll. How about that? Well, we don't have a lot we need to identify. Let's start with some of these scrolls, though. Blessed Scroll of Gold Detection. Oh, how about that? Now we know. Uh, so I guess we did a good thing in reading that. <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't actually think that it would work in our favor. 
course the door is locked. Let's apply that lock pick. Well, it's a credit card, but you get the idea. Okay. Uh huh. And what's up here? Cool. Okay, tiny cat. How about this? Is this a cape? Is it a uh, armor? Studded leather armor. What do you think? Oh, think it's all right. So let's remove our Hawaiian shirt. Uh, ee, don't look. We will wear our studded leather armor. From AC8, we go to AC5, so that's great. That's three points. We can remove it, right? Yep. So it is It is not cursed. And then we'll put our Hawaiian shirt on. Hawaiian shirts... Oh, oh you have to wear it under the armor. Okay. Clearly, I, I don't have a lot of experience with uh, Hawaiian shirts, which... All good, uh, there we go. All good tourists start with. Uh, it doesn't really provide you any protection, but what it will do. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, starting to feel hungry. Well, I was going to eat that gecko corpse, but we see where that went, huh? Uh, Hawaiian shirts don't provide extra protection other than, like, maybe stopping items from rusting if they get wet, but uh, they do give you something else that can be enchanted. So I can enchant that up to plus something or other. Uh, ooh, the bat squeals. The dart hits the bat. Where'd the bat go? There's the bat. Ooh, experience level three. Hello there, lizard. Uh, die, de gecko. Thank you. All right. Ooh, a gecko corpse. Yeah, we'll eat that. Thank you. Ah, that was a kobold. I barely even saw it before I killed it by a complete accident. Sorry, kobold. <laughs> That's a bat. Bam! You kill the bat. Alright. Uh, what kind of comestible are you? A tripe ration? That's that's safe. Uh, oof! Getting a little heavy. I got a lot of stuff, I guess. Let's go ahead and eat... Uh, wow, we have eight uncursed food rations? No wonder. Uh, let's go ahead and eat one of those food rations. Yep, our movements are now unencumbered. Uh, food rations weigh a decent amount, actually. Alright, so that's level two of the dungeon explored. Let's uh, go deeper. Hello. Bam. Bam. Bye-bye, Newt. Alright, come here, tiny cat. This way. This way. This, tiny. There we go. Thank you. Alright, you descend the stairs. Ooh. Is that more fortune cookies? It is a fortune cookie. I'll take that. Alright. So it's uh, it's not going too bad right now. We got low HP. Ah, that's an acid blob. Let's let's just there we go. You kill the acid blob. Uh, a rumbling in the distance. I don't like that. Let's unlock this. Lots of gold. If I can find a shop, that would be awesome because then I could spend some of this gold. Now I have heard that you get like a penalty for selling prices if you are a tourist. Ooh, hello, Jackal. Goodbye, Jackal. You can you can eat that tiny cat. I, I had I just ate, thanks. Uh, something along the lines of, well, you're just a tourist, so people can take advantage of you. Okay. So right here, that's a boulder, which means that somewhere on this floor, uh, like one of those or these, is likely a boulder trap. So, search. Nope. Nope. Okay. Tiny Cat triggers something. The boulder hits Tiny Cat. You were hit by a boulder. You hear the wailing of the Banshee. Whoa. What is that? Also, very low hit points right now. One HP. No good. Uh, we did find the, uh... <laughs> we did find the trap, though. So that's something. Stupid boulder. Well, it's not looking great for us, but our luck can change. Ooh, a spear. Why not? We're a little encumbered. That's fine. That was bound to happen. A dead end. I hate that. Oh, I hear someone counting money. So, oh, yes, I hear someone cursing shoplifters. There is a store on this level. Fire that dart off. All right. Ooh, a dark potion, and let's eat the gecko corpse. Uh, you're locked, huh? 
So there's a store somewhere. That's when it says you hear someone uh, counting money or you hear someone cursing shoplifters. That's uh, one of the ways you can tell. Okay. Ooh, what was that? Oh, yep. Chime of a cash register. Ooh, large box. Any traps? Uh, probably no traps. Loot it. It's locked. Oh, we can we can fix that. Oh, there's a hobgoblin. Okay. Okay. Thank you, tiny cat. Let's loot this box. Uh, two guavas, a glove of, car glove of garlic, a clove of garlic, and a clear potion. Cool. Alright. What was that? Yep, cursing shoplifters. So we're gonna we're gonna come back over here. Mm-hmm. And see. Yes, yeah, so that's just that boulder, so that, that doesn't go anywhere. So you must be over here somewhere. Thankfully we've got all our hit points back. <gasps> yes! A second hand bookstore. So you've got a bunch of scrolls. Oh, oh, here we go. Tiny Cat picked up a scroll. Tiny Cat dropped a scroll. Now, we're going to throw something at Tiny Cat because Tiny Cat is a good cat. Uh, Tiny Cat is uh, dropping things at us, and we like that. We're going to throw one tripe ration at Tiny Cat. Uh, Tiny Cat catches the tripe ration and eats it. Tiny Cat's like, oh, that was super cool, thanks. Tiny Cat picks up a scroll. And now Tiny Cat is super happy to deliver things to us. Come here, Tiny Cat. Do you have a scroll still? Hello? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tiny Cat picks up a scroll. <gasps> Tiny Cat drops a scroll. Why, thank you. Such a good cat. So we're going to get a bunch of... Uh, ooh, a sign spell book. Thank you. We're going to get a bunch of uh, stuff for free here. Up, oh, yep, a scroll. Uh-huh. Good cat. Let's throw another tripe ration just to help reinforce it. Good job, Tiny Cat. Tiny Cat is... There we go. Still in the way. Ooh, abracadabra. Nice. Tiny Cat drops the scroll. Okay. Yep, yep, that works for me. Whew, this is great. Well, tell you what, guys, though, I think we're going to continue robbing this bookstore keeper blind in uh, our next episode. So, hey, thanks for coming along with me. But until next time, bye all.